we have been doing swadhyay of the patanjali yoga sutras we have reached till sutra 32 this week we are doing sutra 33 to 37 as a part of our swadhyay we shall chant the sutras two times and then look at the meaning of the 37th sutra let us begin मैत्री करुणा मुदितोपेक्षाण सुख दुख पुण्य पुण्य विषयाण भावना तिथ प्रसादन प्रच्छर्दन विधारणाभ्या प्राण से विषयवती वकृतिपन्ना मनस स्थित निबंधनी विशोका वा ज्योतिषमती वीतराग विषय वा चित वंस अगेन मैत्री करुणा मुदिता उपेक्षाण सुख दुख पुण्य अपुण्य विषयाण भावना चित्त प्रसादन प्रच्छर्दन विधारणाभ्या प्राण से विषयवती वकृति उत्पन्ना मनस स्थिति निबंधनी विशोका वा ज्योति मति वीतराग विषय वा चित्त ओ नाउ लेट अस गो टू द मीनिंग ऑफ सूत्र थर्टी सेवन वीतरागम वीतराग विषय वाचित वीतराग राग इन जनरल टर्म्स वी कंसीडर एज एंडर बट द राग स्पोकन इन संस्कृत इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंट राग इज अनुराग अटैचमेंट एंड इट्स अपोजिट इज द्वेश हेट्रेड सो वन who has transcended these passions that person is known as vitaraga vishayam the object va or chittam chitta maharshi patanjali is speaking of how to bring the mind into control and take it from a dissipated state to a state of one pointedness and beyond and to do that while doing that there are some difficulties which come in and what is the way to get rid of these difficulties and achieve the goal of chitta vritti nirodha that is what he is now giving all these five sutras are different ways to reach that and here he explains that or continuing from the previous sutra the mind can be brought under control by making a person who has transcended passions as the object of concentration of the chitta so he has pro- provided multiple options and the option which maharshi patanjali is giving today is you identify a person who has transcended his or her passions and has gone beyond the world of duality once you know such a person then you make that person as the object of your concentration so you concentrate here and you just keep on connecting to this person who whom so ever you have chosen who has to be a vitaragi who has transcended one's passions that is the one of the ways by which the chitta can also be stilled and concentrated that is the meaning of the sutra 
हरि ओम सत्सत लेट अस मेक दिस एज आवर ऑफरिंग टू श्री गणेशा एंड बाय हिज ग्रेस एंड ब्लेसिंग्स लेट दिस नॉलेज कम टू अस नॉट स्टिक एट द इंटेलेक्चुअल लेवल बट परकोलेट डाउन इन टू एक्शन बिकॉज theory without action serves no purpose and practical activity without theoretical knowledge takes can take us in any direction that is why we need to have a proper balance between the two the focus always remaining experiential so with this let us complete our morning sadhana gently close your eyes for a minute or two bring your mind to back to your eyebrow center where you had installed the form of shri ganesha visualize this form is pleasant smiling countenance feel the grace showering upon us recollect the impact of the different stotra chanting which we have done the impact of the avartan which we have done the impact of the swadhyay let all these be an offering to ganesha for a few moments keep sitting still awareness at the eyebrow center but keep also your awareness at any thoughts which might be coming up any visions which might be coming up in the mind for a few moments just become aware of these two things awareness of ganesha at the eyebrow center and awareness of any thoughts any emotions flitting through the mental plane and then gently disengage from the thoughts from the emotions and let the mind be attracted towards the enticing form of gajanan the mind is only at one point nothing else become aware of the posture of the body become aware of your breath become aware of the contact points between the body and the floor the contact points between the clothes and the body the breeze and the body externalize your awareness and become aware of the different sounds smells experiences coming to you from within your room
extend your awareness further and listen to the different sounds situations circumstances ex existing in the world outside the room having externalized your awareness completely bring your awareness back to the body bring it to the eyebrow center and maintaining your awareness on this point we shall chant the mantra om three times together followed by the shanti part taking in a deep breath oh Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, mrityor ma mrutam gamaya, sarvesham swasti bhavatu, sarvesham shantir bhavatu, sarvesham purnam bhavatu. Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Urvarukam Iva Bandhanam Rityor Mukshiyam Amrata Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hands in Pranam Mudra. Tvameva Mata Chapita Tvameva Tvameva Bandhush Chasakha Tvameva Tvameva Vidya Dravinam Tvameva Tvameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Tvameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Tvameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Hari Om Hari Om Patsar Gently rub the palms against each other Place them on the closed eyes Experience the warmth radiating from the palms to your eyes Relaxing the eyes, relaxing the brain, relaxing the whole body. And then gently move the palms away. Open your eyes. Adiyo, Tatsat, Namunarayan, Jai.